بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما okay the next thing what about the examples we have seen in the numbered acl probably what you can do is you can just go ahead and configure the same like if you see this is the same example what we used for our standard acl but this time i'll be using with the named acl i'm not going to show you the configuration because configuration verification is still the same so i just explain you the uh, conf syntax here already explained with few examples uh, previously so the prerequisite again connectivity ip addressing routing is done and assume these are the rules and as per these rules i'm i'm getting into this into this configuration here so if you try to see here this is my requirement so these are the rules so i'm going to take this as a source destination everything is same i'm going to apply this on the common part this is router 2 so i'm going to take this router 2 will apply on the router 2 here as per the syntax so the first rule is we need to say ip access list standard and the name of the acl ccna let's say and what's the first rule the first rule is deny the 1.1 host so how to write uh, inside this mode deny 1.1 and the second rule is deny 1.2 host and the third line is deny the 192.168.3. subnet and of course permit any so the syntax is different but the way you write everything remains the same and finally you want to apply this so you can apply either inbound or outbound it depends as i'm taking this as a destination uh, this as sorry i'm applying this on the router 2 and this is my destination so basically it is like outbound direction here so we know we have seen this example so the difference the way you apply is same so instead of referring the acl number we have to refer the name of the acl so i'm using ccna as a name but it can be any name whatever you want you can use 